So, you want to learn how to make hot chocolate? Well, it is cold outside right now, especially in America. But listen, sometimes you're warm, sometimes you're hot. But you, you're always hot. <sighs> yep. Hey guys, my name is Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again to take a look at how to make a slime animated, like, sprite enemy kind of thing. Like, you know, how every single RPG game has. That's a pixel art game, so... We're back in a sprite today. You can also do this in Libra sprite as well as always. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get this thing popping. I just realized my microphone might be a little bit loud, so we're we'll going to turn that down a little bit. Actually, I apologize, uh, pals, friends, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Um, all right, cool. We should be okay at that volume. Um, nice. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab a outline color, which means this little black color we have here. This is I'm in a 16 by 16 canvas right now, by the way. Pretty small stuff, but we're going to go ahead and get this thing cracking by just making a basic shape, um, which is eh, maybe something like something like this, and then we'll have to go up one, maybe two, and then like this, um, and then it'll go up a couple blocks. Actually, we can make this um, uh, symmetrical, but we don't really have to. I'm going to actually close home. Uh, we don't have to make this symmetrical. We, we could, but we don't necessarily have to. I believe that is up in... It should be a piece, uh, a little button right here, which is throwing me off because it's not there. Hmm, I actually don't recall. Symmetry options, there we go, cool, nice. And then we you turn it on there, so there we go. Um, so now we can pull this up about like this. Maybe I have to go up two and then come out and then do that. Oh, that's perfect, that's a glorious shape, nice. All right, so next thing I wanna do is uncheck this um, symmetry. So let's go ahead, and now we can decide a color. I'm going to pick a nice little green color for this thing. We're going to hit G, and bucket fill that in there like that, which looks really cool. Now, there's almost like a lighter side of a, of a slime in the inside of it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that because it's so classic. You got, you got to do it. Um, I'm going to turn back on symmetry, and we're going to go ahead and just hit uh, B to go back to the brush tool. Um, there you go, and we're just going to create a little, it's like the nucleus, kind of, like the, it's like the head, you know, it's like the head of the slime, um, you love to see it, it's too symmetrical, now we go, there we go, um, cool, cool, um, and then, I think what I'm going to do after that is maybe kind of form this more around this thing's head, so let's go ahead and, um, just change around some of the shape of this a little bit, um, it looks a little more squared off, but I kind of like it like that, actually, I think it looks... Um, like a cool little style that I have going on. So that's pretty neat stuff. I want to move this all down by one. So select none. That was M. Hit M, by the way, to bring up this little selection tool. M. And then go back to B. Select none. For the back end. Nice. Cool. So with that being done, I'm going to go ahead and add in some eyeballs by just putting the two little pieces like that. There you go. And now we can animate this thing real quick. Actually, I want to real quick uh, make the outline color darker so we'll just drag it to the blue a little bit and just you know there we go cool so it's like nice little process of making a uh animated pixel art slime it means a little bit more darker there we go all right cool nope that's not it <laughs> wrong thing to do all right cool there we go now i kind of want to maybe fade this a little bit as well so we'll kind of put this in half so we'll drop the opacity down and then we'll use this to kind of soften the edges of all of that which looks really cool and we'll do the same thing over here though but we'll grab the darker color i keep hitting p instead of i to eye drop um but uh we'll grab that and then drop the opacity down about half and then hit b uh maybe maybe more than just half and then we'll do something like that um and then maybe something here and it's looking kind of weird Eh, it's looking kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe like that? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think that's good. Maybe maybe just something very simple like, um, yeah, like that. We'll do that. Okay, cool. Nice. With that done, we can go ahead and now move on. We can hit this little button down here to add frames, hit new frame. And now what we can do is we can make it so that the slime balances up and down. I'm going to grab all this. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to grab the top two layers, then grab this piece, and then we'll move it down. Select none, and then we'll delete this little piece there. So now it looks like it goes down. And in the next frame, I want the little nucleus part to move down. like So it looks like it's kind of jello, so it follows afterwards. And I'll fill that in. And then we can go ahead and right-click the second frame. Um, uh, right-click the cell of the second frame. So I hit duplicate cells. Oh, actually, not that. Not, not that. We need to hit uh, copy. So Control-C and then Control-C Control and then Control-V. So it pastes it. 
So there we go. And now we need to move the third frame, grab the little yellow, yellow outline around the uh, frame, and then move it behind the fourth one. And now you can see that uh, it goes down and it comes back up. So now this is what the animation that we have is, which is really, really cool and really simple. But the issue is it doesn't look very jello -y yet. We need to do some things to it. Plus, it's too fast. So let's go ahead and change something. Let's go to frame and change the constant frame rate from uh, 100 to, I believe, uh, 200 might look good. That's decent. We might change it a little later on, but that's fine. So we only have four frames here. Super basic stuff. Let's go ahead and refine this a little bit more. Um, so on the second frame, I kind of want to pull this down like that. Um... Maybe we'll do like this. So we'll have this kind of come in like that. And then maybe this little headpiece will come down even more. So it'll kind of flatten. Even more than that. One more. There we go. Nice. All right. And then. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Cool. 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 And then we'll put this in uh, the darker piece. Not the light one. Darker piece goes there. And maybe there. All right. Okay. And then we got to get to go back up is the uh, is the issue here. So let's pull this down because that's unrealistic to have to come up that far. Um, there we go. Wait, actually. OK, let's pull this down. And I kind of want to make it look like it indents a little bit because it would probably do that if it was going up really fast. So this would probably be coming down. Um, and then it would go back up like uh, like here there we go you know I drop this put that back put this back you love to see it very good stuff so let's play this real quick it's not gonna loop but we'll see it for, we'll see it for a second oh it's kind of it kind of does loop actually it kind of works okay I was not expecting that all right it's much more slimy now which is very cool but it doesn't move enough for me down here wise like the rest of it so um, when it goes down and smacks the bottom like that I really want the entire thing to kind of come down a level um so we'll do like we'll do like from here move it all down all right okay and then we'll fill that in actually no we won't do that we'll do this there we go maybe we'll do that yeah okay let's take a look it doesn't stay down long enough is the uh, is the actual issue so let's go ahead and move it yeah it's only down for one frame oh yeah yeah okay so we definitely need to move this down some more um, it could go down, it could stay down on this one. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We'll pull this down by one and then we'll pull it down again. And then we'll go ahead and fill in these little pieces. Very cool stuff. Now, I kind of want to change the shape of this as well. Um, because it is still supposed to be jello inside of here, you know? So we'll go ahead and kind of keep that true. Okay. That's looking much more salami, which is cool. Now I want to also move it so that the eyes on this frame are further down. So it looks like they're kind of coming up late. Um, it's kind of just like physics and how things would work if you smacked it, like if it was jello or something. You're just trying to get to move as much as is possible. Um, so it looks really pretty cool at this point in time. Now there's definitely some more things we can do. Um, like for instance, smoothing the transition between this to this is a little little crazy um, but we can definitely easily do that by just pulling this down like oh no not like that pulling well we can we can't do it like that we'll pull it down like this and then we'll get rid of that and we'll put this in its place there we go all right all right that's the oh, i've just done the same thing <laughs> holy moly all right okay let's pull let's pull this back up there we go and then instead of doing that well, what can we do here um we're gonna have to I, I see what we can do here. Um, instead of pulling it all down, we'll just leave it like this. And then we'll put the um, put this there. And it looks kind of sharp, but it works because um, but it works because it needs to look like it's kind of coming down fast. So there we go. Okay, cool. Nice. So it looks really slimy now. It looks really like a movie and like soft and whatever else you want to say about it. Um, but yeah, so that's basically uh that's basically a nice little slime rpg kind of animation the eyes bounce the everything kind of bounces along with it it looks looks pretty cool i do i do i will say that i want to do a little bit of recoloring here and the easy way to do that is instead of going ahead and recoloring all of the outlines i want to go ahead and go up to i believe it is edit replace color and then we can just select it says from and then we can 
click and drag from that color and then I want to make I want to make it solid black um, so we just make everything black like that and hit OK now it's good now I don't like all of the shading we have going on here but we have to redo that same thing for every all, all the frames by the way so I, I didn't mention that but we'll just do this real quick it's super easy um, we can just change the index and just select that piece all right cool so all the frames we can go ahead and hit replace color and then click and drag that to there and then make sure this is black there you go and two more you can see how this would become really tedious if you had a lot of frames which you probably will have more than five frames unless you're only doing sprites in apex and in, in, in apex in uh a sprite so the thing is if i were to go ahead and ooh, if i were to go, if i were to go ahead and change the color for everything it would take a long long time um but that's why it's super handy to have that uh, replace color tool so that's very very nice um now with all the rest of it i do want to also get rid of a little bit of this shading here the darker colors the lighter colors look fine but i don't necessarily like the darker colors so we'll go ahead and get rid of those the old-fashioned way the super easy way we'll just go ahead and use the other color and fill those in like that nice so it's much more simplistic now i like it a lot better um i do maybe want to bridge the gap between these two um by potentially maybe pulling that like nah that, that looks kind of weird now um uh, it's fine the way that it is it's all right this is cool um so yeah, that's basically all that i have for you ladies and gentlemen today hope you enjoyed it i do really quickly want to um uh maybe change the constant frame rate to something that's not 200 maybe we'll do 150 one, yeah, 150 so it's a little bit faster Okay, yeah, I like that better. That was much better. Yeah, like I said, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed. I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.